Welcome back to another episode of Judy the Foodie. Today, I have a special guest with me, my boyfriend of almost three years. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is uh, KJ, and happy that I'm on the uh, Judy the Foodie. Today, we will be discussing our top three fanciest dates that we've been on together. Mm-hmm. Yes, let's do it. Okay, the first one we will be discussing is Gilgamesh. Now, I know what you're thinking. Gilgamesh is just a good pizza place that has burgers. Mm-mm. On Valentine's Day, they went all out this year. It was so amazing. They had a special menu just for, I believe, the whole weekend. Yeah, they did. Before we start discussing the restaurants we went to, it would be very useful if you guys listening go on Judy the Foodie. I will have a post on the Judy the Foodie Instagram with the pictures of each place and meal so you guys can follow along. At Gilgamesh, they provided a three-course meal for each of us. Now, to pay for this meal, we wanted to discuss the Valentine's Day tickets from that were provided by Independence, Oregon. Now, we got these tickets in the mail. And it was like a scratch off. And you basically gather these tickets up, well, scratch offs, and you can use these scratch offs anywhere in the independence where we live. And each scratch off has a value of one to $50. And in order to use these scratch offs, you have to go to the restaurants to. Um, pretty much exchange these scratch off for basically cash inside their store. So, and they do hand them out too. Once you, you know, go into whatever store you would like in Independence, they'll also give you more of the scratch offs. We got tickets just from going to an ice cream shop and getting some ice cream. It doesn't need to be a big purchase. Now, to start off this three course meal, we both got the pear and candied walnut and apple vinaigrette salad. It was delicious. There was also chunks of cheese in it too. I believe it was either blue cheese or gargonzola, but it was very good. And KJ's not too much of a salad person. He really liked it. Yeah, I mean, it was all right. I didn't really like too much of that um, vinaigrette stuff. I'd prefer ranch, but it was good. Next, we will be discussing both meals that we got i'll go first i had the blue cheese crusted new york strip steak this steak was delicious i just became a steak fan and this blew my mind this was i believe this was the very first time i've ever ordered a steak at a restaurant and i was very very pleased the blue cheese was not overwhelming but it was just enough to give that punch of flavor the steak was very buttery and delicious. And I got a uh, salmon, I believe. Mm-hmm. I got salmon with uh, mashed potatoes. And it was good. I, I liked it. Then for dessert, I'm a big dessert guy, so you know how to get dessert. Um, I got a um, caramel cheesecake, which was pretty pretty solid. Um, I'll give it like a nine out of ten. It was it was it was a good cheesecake. So yeah, it it was good, especially for the for the deal that they had going on. And I had the decadent chocolate cake. Decadent is definitely the right word for this cake. I had a little less than half, and I was full. The nice thing about having this three course meal was it was so much more food than I'm used to, especially from ordering at a restaurant, because we normally don't get appetizers and desserts, that I filled an entire to-go box with each course, took it home, and then had it the very next day after cheer practice, and I felt so fancy having my steak after a good workout. Yeah, I don't like taking my stuff home. I eat it at the restaurant at all times. There's no to-go box going with KJ. Mm-mm. At all. <laughs> he always makes fun of me. But I think it's the best part about going out to eat. One of the best parts. Now, like we mentioned before, we used Valentine's Day coupons. 
Without any coupons, this would have been $80 in total. But because we racked up so many coupons, we got $45 off, if you can believe it. So it ended up being $35, but of course, we gave a little tip. The second place we had went to is in Portland, and it's called um, McCormick's and Schmick's Seafood and Steaks. It's on the riverfront in downtown uh, Portland. I believe I got the mixed platter. It's like a seafood platter, and it came with uh, salmon, stuffed shrimp, and crab cakes with mashed potatoes and uh, baked green beans. And overall, it was good. I, that was probably the most um, elegant dinner I probably had. Pretty expensive, but it was definitely worth every uh, every dollar that I spent there. Yeah, the customer service was great. Uh, there was no, wasn't too many people there, and they weren't really tripping too much about this whole COVID thing. So yeah, it was it was great. It was very delicious. What I had was the chef's choice was a big old slab of salmon stuffed with crab, shrimp, brie, artichoke, and sun-dried tomatoes. This was amazing. Even though it was stuffed with a lot of things, it was still the perfect portion. It was not overwhelming, and you could tell that they put a lot of thought in making this dish. It was, hands down, the best salmon I've had in my life. In the restaurant, you can see a clear view of the river. The entire wall is windows. So every single place you are seated, you can have a clear view of the river and all the boats. And right after we and were- And the di- bridge is too. Mm-hmm. Bridge, all that. Exactly. And right after dinner, we decided to go on a romantic walk down at the docks. It was just a walk. It was romantic. It was romantic. It was just a walk. It was sunset time. It was beautiful. The very last place we will be discussing is Dosalis Latin Kitchen. In Vancouver, Washington. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. The interior, like the decor that was inside was just mind-blowing. So fancy. They had this really cool (coughs) tequila wall. The bathrooms were even decked out, huge chandeliers, views of the river from really high up, just great. Mm-hmm. And now let's talk about the food. First, I popped KJ's bubble once again on trying new foods, and we tried some octopus. Take it away, baby. Yeah, the octopus was good. I mean, it was my first time trying it. Uh, it was fried octopus, not... Not exactly what I thought it was going to taste like, but it was kind of like sort of like calamari, so that's why I didn't really care too much about it. So, I mean, it was all right first time. Yeah, it was an appetizer, right? Yeah. yeah it was an appetizer, and it was a pretty expensive appetizer, too, but, you know, I wanted to have a good time there, so. I've had octopus before. The octopus itself was all right. It was just a little too chewy for my liking. But what was good about this dish was the creamy chipotle sauce that they served with it. They also had roasted potatoes and I believe some, I believe it was ground beef with it too. So honestly, the octopus looked like the star of the show, but the star of the show was the other things that went along with it. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a seafood appetizer to share Instead of the octopus, I would recommend the Douglas Crab Toast. They put a heaping pile of Douglas Crab on both pieces of toast. You can tell that it's very fresh. The bread is good quality, toasted to perfection, and is definitely buttered. KJ will be discussing the short rib sopes. Well, yeah, it was good. It was um, three little sopes. It had... uh, guacamole, just short ribs on it. It had pickled onion, and it had beets. Yeah, it was good. Like I said, these, these, this place was on the expensive side, so pretty pricey, but overall, the experience was something that, you know, I had to go twice because of how good this place was, but it was good. 10 out of 10. My number one 
favorite dish of all from both times we went to Dos Alas would definitely be the fried pork ribs. Man, these things were tasty. Honestly, me and KJ did end up sharing. We shared every single dish that we got, but this is something that I would order for myself. There was three ribs. Each of them fall off the bone. The tomato sauce was caramelized. It was just amazing. It was seasoned to perfection. It also had a little salad with it too, so you get a little bit of green. It was just really, really good. Now, KJ will be discussing the habanero cheesecake. The cheesecake that I had was very good. Like I mentioned before, I'm a dessert guy and I like cheesecake, so I got the habanero uh, cheesecake. But it wasn't like hot. This habanero was strawberry. It was pretty good. But also the best thing they put on it was edible gold. They weren't supposed to put edible gold on it, but I asked them that they can. They're supposed to put on this ice cream that they got. But I asked them if they can add it on there, and they said it will be additional cost. You know, I didn't care. So they put it on there. And, uh, yeah, it was like just looking at it, it looked like I was like a, a really expensive cheesecake. It was just really good. And who tried the gold on the cheesecake? Oh, my hamster did. I brought some home. So I put some in a little to-go thing, and he had some. I don't know what he thought about it, but it looked like it was good because he ran around afterwards. <laughs> but, yeah, that's something you can do if you don't want to get, like, the $50 ice cream that they have. You can just get a slice of cheesecake or a different dessert and ask for some gold dust on it, and it's only around $3. That's about it for this episode. Thank you so much for listening again. And is there anything else you wanted to say, KJ? No, I'm glad I've been on the show. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.